Hi, I'm Daniel Robinson. Welcome to Plumpy Thimble. Is there anything more satisfying than passing judgment? The Trial of Louis Riel is a game that is being developed by Victory Point Games. It's a two-player game where each, uh, each player takes on either, either the role of the defense or the prosecution. It's based on an actual historical trial that took place uh, in the Canadian territories in the late 1800s. The flavor text itself is little tidbits of historical information on the actual trial. Now I don't want to review the game's components so much as this is a game that's in development. I have a playtesting kit, I'll kind of show you what that looks like and a little bit on how the gameplay works. Uh, my initial reaction when reading about this is it seemed a lot like something that you would get at a homeschooling convention, uh, many of which I've attended throughout my youth. There's this idea amongst homeschooling families that you can take something uh, that's slightly fun, you know, songs, games, and you can just cram the educational value into it. And, it, and it's going to be just as fun as any other game, uh, it, only, only it's not. It, it never, never, ever, ever is, Mom. So there was my concern with the trial of Louis Royale. Now, I wasn't going to knock it. I was getting a free playtest kit from Victory Point Games. It seemed like a, a fun thing to do. So I've given it a shot, and... I'm excited about this game. Uh, currently, they're not running any campaign on Kickstarter. They're just going to produce it. You can buy it through their website. I'll link it below. I don't know when it's going to be out and available for purchase as they are in the playtest phase. But I'm excited about the engine that they've created. Now, the game itself works where one player is the prosecution, one player is the defense. You're working with a series of cards uh, throughout a number of rounds to sway the jurors back and forth. Now you've got a number of tracks, and you know what, I'll just show you. Let's take a look. Now we've got the game set up here for a two-player, well, obviously it's a two-player game. You've got your jurors here, you've got your game track here, which is your board, uh, and then your deck of cards, which is what I used to hold it together. Now this is, like I said, a playtest kit, and so the components aren't um, aren't finalized and neither is the near neither is the end art actually you can go on board game geek and kind of see what some of the production art looks like it's pretty pretty cool actually the gist of the game is you're working in a number of rounds the first round being uh, juror selection so you can see each juror has language occupation religion you are trying to get a gist for those jurors you're trying to get more information on the jurors than your opponent has uh, at the end of that round you each dismiss um, a number of jurors so that there's only six left. Basically what it comes down to is they each, you tally up the points of the jurors uh, with whatever their aspects are on the board. If the total amount of points by the jurors is over 100 points, then the prosecution wins. If it's under 100 points, then the, uh, if it's under 100 points, then the defense wins. And the cards themselves are, are pretty cool. Like I mentioned, they've got flavor text. So this is the back. Uh, it's all highlighted nicely so you can see which round, juror selection, trial event, or summation event. I didn't go over all the fine details. You can look at the rule book online. Um, but this is something I'm going to be keeping an eye out for, and one that I'm, I probably am going to buy the, the finalized version. The Trial of Blue Rail, at, at least at this point, to me, seems almost like the homeschooling holy grail. You've got your educational uh, aspect of the game where the flavor text gives you information on the trial. I mean, I've learned more about this Canadian... Uh, this Canadian historical event than I ever have in the past. I, I even found out he's kind of a still a contested figure where some people consider him a hero, other people consider him, um, you know, a traitor. They've taken an interesting historical event. They've taught me more about it than I knew previously. Uh, not to mention the game itself has a really strong ebb and flow. I mean, there's not many two-player games that I own or even play that much that don't scale. I mean, this is just a two-player game. It doesn't doesn't go up or down from there. Uh, but you've got a real nice back and forth that isn't so much the backstabbing of something like Munchkin or Cutthroat Caverns, uh, but it's it's tactical in the sense that you have to decide what your move is and try to figure out what your opponent's next move is going to be. And then you have to decide if you're going to react to that or if you're going to take a different strategy. There's many different paths to victory in this game. Um, those of which you can read about in the rule book. It's a really interesting game, and I'm excited to see what's going to come of it uh, as it gets closer to finished production. 
Okay, so we're going to do a giveaway. This is the first time we've done something like this on the, ch on the channel. Uh, a few videos ago, I did a Kickstarter preview for the Ultra Coins. Um, here's a picture of them. I don't know. Yeah, here's a picture of them. I'm going to be giving away one of the prototypes that I received as a preview. Now, you'll get uh, the Light Mage, I think is what it's called, uh, or, or the Wizard. And check out the video. You can see if this is something you're interested in. If we can get 50 subscribers, once we get 50 subscribers, I will pick randomly uh, from one of those subscribers that we've got. And I will let you know that you've won, and I will send you um, your own exclusive coin. So, yeah. Uh, if we get 50 subscribers, we'll go ahead and run this automatically. I'll let you know who wins when the time comes. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Thanks. Thank you.